because she wanted it. All right. <laughs> That was the first one she wanted. She wanted the one we have right now. I said, well, honey, I can't quite get there right now. Can I get you this kind, build you this kind now, and within a few years, you'll get the one you want. We'll take that offer. She said, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. So uh, we were in agreement, and God moved. God moved. God gave us favor. Bless us build that house. All 1996. Right. The first one. In 1996. And then... Six years later, was it six years? Six and a half years later, we, I believe it was on our anniversary or on your birthday one. I wanted to be a blessing to you and I did some little something, whatever, we went out to dinner or whatever. But we went out to a, a subdivision that had the kind of sidewalks she wanted. We didn't have no sidewalk in front of our house. It just looked country to her. So she wanted a house this time with a sidewalk, and she wanted a house that was laid out the way she wanted it. Okay. We went out there, and the Holy Ghost came on us at the subdivision. The Spirit of the Lord came on us, and I began to speak. You get ready to get the house. I said, let's pick a lot. Let's go. And she started shaking it. I said, we get ready to do this thing. <laughs> and you know, we start, we put that in motion. We started talking to the people, and God started manifesting. Amen. All right. We built built that house in that sub sub subdivision, where uh, we was the first one like us in there. <laughs> what you saying, preacher? We were the first one like us. Define that. Nothing like us in there now. It's, in that one. Like us. But, but you, you, you people. The, the household, they, everybody in there know that's the household of faith. That, 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 that. Amen. Everybody up in there know we, we are the people of God in Deerwood subdivision. All right. Amen. They know it. Praise God. They know what we do. All right. They know we live by faith. Amen. Now, I'm telling you, if I don't treat her right, it stops the flow. Every now and then, I act ignorant. <laughs> for a few minutes. All right. <laughs> you know, but for a few minutes. Right. Come on, preacher. Because I recognize All right. that she is a key in the eyes of God Amen. to my blessing. Amen. Amen. I've never been blessed in my life like this before I came in contact with her. All right. Right. Testify. She honor her as the weaker vessel. What does that mean, weaker vessel? It doesn't mean she puny and weak. Right, right, and, right. And just you're about to fall over any minute. But what it means, the weaker vessel means this. The the rare treasure. Your vehicle that you have, you know, that muscle car or whatever it is, right. it's not Charging. weak. It's powerful, <laughs> but yet you don't want nobody rushing up on that paint job. All right, now. <laughs> Be delicate with that. Thank you. you you're treating it like, it like it's weak, yet it is very powerful. Amen. Mm. It's rare. It's like the fine china. It's not weak. Right. It's fine. Amen. Amen. All right. It's rare. It's valuable. Right. So treat her, Mark, as the weaker vessel. What do you mean? The rare treasure. Right. Nobody else like her. All right. Amen. That's why I opened the door for her. All right. She can open the door. She can't do that. But I open the door. Come on. Amen. Yeah. I'm honoring her. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Come on. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. I'm not a man. I'm, I'm a man. <laughs> Amen. Oh, you know what I'm yes, sir. And we got a household of faith. Come on. When we walk in places, favor. Yes, sir. Things. Hallelujah. We went to a restaurant all week. You know, I guess we kind of get old because we're creatures of habit. We went to the same restaurant every day last week. Okay. For breakfast. Every day. And your old people do that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> you know, young folk got to have variety. Well, we went to Mimi's, Mimi's Cafe every, every day. And the folks got to know us. We went in there. was an Oriental lady walked up to us to serve us, Miss Kim. Yep. Miss, y'all know Miss Kim? <laughs> Mimi, amen. Miss Kim walked up. We ain't said nothing to Miss Kim. Miss Kim? Miss Kim walked up and said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
She tried to talk to us about, this, about Jesus. <laughs> My wife didn't have to understand what she was saying, but she was testifying. It's just out of the blue. She recognized what yes. was in us. Yeah. Wow. Hallelujah. Praise God. We were in Walmart a few years ago, and we saw a brother in the Lord there, and we were talking with him, and we were just rejoicing in the Lord. We were just talking. And we were walking out through the parking lot, and this lady walked up, and she said, uh, whatever it is y'all got, you need to package it and sell it. Uh-huh. What's she talking about? The glory yeah. of God yes. that yes. she sees. Holy yes. The household Holy. of faith. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, yes, can I give you a scripture? Yes, sir. Yes. Let me give you some scripture for this because yes. God wants to bless your household. Yes, I'm telling you what, he wants to change your financial world. Yes, thank you. God. He wants to give you breakthrough. Yes. The house you want, he wants you to have it. That's right. Those things that you desire, he wants you to have those things. It's not him holding out on you. Well, I wonder who it is messing with me then. It's the devil. The thief comes out before the steel yes. and destroy Jesus' head, but I've come that you might have life and have it more abundant. Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10. Let us not lose heart, family of faith. Sometimes that happens that, you know, when you're away from church, the organ right. playing, everything, you say, man, this ain't working. Don't lose heart. Don't grow weary and faint in acting nobly and doing right. That's right. Don't start looking at Sally down the street. For in due time and at the right season, we shall go. If we don't loosen and relax our courage and faith. All right now. Amen. Just talk about me and Vanessa. All right. So then. As occasion and opportunity open up to us, let's do good morally to all people. Mm-hmm. That include y'all. To all people, not only being useful and profitable yes. to them, but also doing what is for their spiritual good and advantage to all people. Be mindful to be a blessing to everybody. Yes. But especially... To the household of faith. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, how about they coming? Pastor, everything pastor one. Everything first lady one. And I ought to bless them. Yeah. I ought to bless them. Bishop Neil, Deacon Neil, every I want to bless you, everybody. Yeah. And then when they come to my wife, say, hey, you, you don't need that. Come on. Uh huh. We all say amen. They say especially. <laughs> He needs to go more and preach Especially to the household of faith. Don't bless everybody else and then leave her out. Especially the household of faith. Be mindful and be a blessing, especially those of the household of faith, those who belong to God's family with you. The believers. Now, I'll prove to you this is talking about your address. First Timothy chapter 5, verses 4, 8, and 16. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. First Timothy 5, verses 4, 8, and 16. Read all of the other ver- verses in between at your leisure. Verse 4. But if a widow has children or grandchildren, see to it that those are first, that, that these are first made to understand. That it is their religious duty, as a matter of faith, to defray their natural obligation to those at home. Make return to their parents or grandparents for all their care by contributing to their maintenance. For this is acceptable in the sight of God. What is he saying? He said, be sure that you take care of your parents. Yeah. Right. Financially. We quite them. That's right. Financially. He's talking, he's talking about money. Preach, man. That's Amen. good word. That's good word. <laughs> now, take care of my wife. Bless her. 
Bless my children. Help them get started in life. We constantly, I mean, con we are their emergency fund. Amen. <laughs> yes. When they have an emergency, they don't have an emergency fund somewhere put aside. We are their emergency fund. Amen. Yes. Thank God. We yes. We, we, I mean, that's just the way it is. But that's going to change. But what are we doing? Watch this. What are we doing? If, if I look at it like this, if I look at it like this, Apostle, like, Man, they just draining me of money. Instead of look at it like these young men and their families are part of the household of faith. Amen. Amen. What's happening is I'm sowing into my very own future. Oh. And later on, they're going to have yeah. to work and require they better. daddy <laughs> And mom, right, when right. God prospered like them, because he's going to win the Because every time we sow seed in their life, they, get, they got to hear what right. we say. Right. And so <laughs> right, we're putting money in it, but we're talking to them about wisdom. Right. Come on. Amen. Got to hear their mouth first. And they're, right. and they're catching on to that. Right. Now what's going to end up happening is later on, when God supernaturally fills Pastor Phillips' net, <clears throat> in his ministry, in his business, and all those things, and super abundantly prosper him. Don't you know he's going to remember daddy? Yes, yes he is. And remember Amen. mama. Amen. He's going to bless us and honor yes. us yes. because we're teaching them how to function yes. in the household. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Now, to bless children like this, this is how you treat your parents. Now, what you don't do is this. You don't, you don't all come to church and you tithe and then when parents come up on hard times, you bring it to the church and tell everybody in the church about it and expect apostle in them to, out of some fund in the church, take care of your mama. All right. I know y'all think I'm meddling, but I'm still preaching. Okay. I hear you. That's not what he said, do. He said, if a widow has children in the church... Right. And grandchildren in the church, you children see to it that these are first made to understand that it is your religious duty to defray their natural obligation to those at home. Yes. Make return to their parents or grandparents for all their care by contributing to their maintenance. For this is acceptable to who? In the sight of God. God accepts it as though you are sowing seed yeah. into the household of faith. So guess what? We get the privilege to have a wing, a part of our a whole section of our house where my lovely wife's mom lives. Wow. I don't want that one. That's, that's her crib. All right. <laughs> she got her own bedroom. There was another room up there that she could have for a guest to come. She got her own little living room. Area. Come on now. She she be in, in, in there percolating coffee in the morning oh. in the main kitchen. I, I don't call that my mother-in-law. That's my mother. That's my wife's mama. That's, 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 I say that's my mama. All right. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Papa. Like Naomi. You got the grace on you. Ruth and Naomi. Amen. Grace on you. That's a good grace. See, that's I believe why this glory. See, that's I believe this glory on the inside of me. See, that's why you're blessed. change in the lives, not only, yeah. not only of my my. Uh, life of my immediate family, but my extended family. All right. That's why he's blessed. Everybody come around and get blessed. All right. Amen. That's how he's at it. That's mature. I didn't tell y'all y'all got to do what I do. I'm just telling y'all. Hey, I'm just testifying. There it is. Amen. There it is. Let's get this. Let's get this. So take care of folks. 